In one of the biggest election upsets ever in New Jersey, Senate President Steve Sweeney conceded today. The Republican challenger, a truck driver and political newcomer, is the winner. CBS 2's Meg Baker now on the shift in power. It has been an honor and a privilege. Steve Sweeney was the longest serving New Jersey Senate president in the state's history. I got into this, into politics, after my daughter Lauren was born premature. I was able to stay with her in a hospital for two months because I had a good union job with good benefits. He says 20 years later, he was able to make that possible for all New Jersey parents through the paid family leave bill, one of his many accomplishments while serving since 2002. Sweeney was known for standing up to Governor Christie and reaching across the aisle with Republican colleagues. John Wisniewski is a former state legislator. Senate President, Assembly Speaker, wield enormous power. Not a single bill gets posted without their okay. In the Senate, the power is also the power of appointment. Wisniewski says the loss of Sweeney in South Jersey changes the power dynamics in the state. Senator Nicholas Scatari is the front runner to fill the Senate president's seat. He is from Union County. Legislative leaders in the two houses generally don't come from the same region of the state. Now you have the Senate president and the assembly speaker, Craig Coughlin, literally from adjoining assembly districts, uh, legislative districts, which is unprecedented in the state. So what happened? Sweeney survived in 2017 when the NJEA, the state's largest teachers union, spent $5.4 million against him. Durr spent less than $10,000. What was the secret to my success? And I can answer in two questions. Bill Murphy. Sweeney says this is not the last the state will see of him, perhaps hinting at a run for governor in four years. I'll be speaking from a different podium, but I promise you, I will be just as loud and just as forceful for a voice for change. To Senator Sweeney, I congratulate you on a long career. Who knows, maybe someday we can have a beer together. Durr's term is four years. In Trenton, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And the vote for state Senate president is set for Friday.